Welcome Pisces to your mid-month reading for February. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. And for those of you, I did make a meditation video. Like I said, I would um, in the summertime. Those of you who've been here since then. Um, it's finally out. Finally did that. So you might want to watch that if you're interested. I didn't get three hours long, so that way you can go to sleep with it. Use it as meditation. I made it long enough. You can use it however you'd like to use it, my friends. Okay, so you might want to check that out. Let's get straight in here into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Okay. Sitting comfortable. Simple pleasures. And that's really what it is. I, I do feel this for you, though, Pisces. I do feel like you're in this place of nurturing and simple pleasures and just really kind of hum homing the situation. I feel like you are holding your pinnacle. I do see you holding your pinnacle. You just work, work, work. Uh, but there is this very big nurturing piece to you um, and the way that you are um, dealing with people around you. So I do feel like, but I also feel like you're very comfortable. Um, and no one's going to take you off your throne at this time. Um, God forbid, right? <laughs> God forbid that they try. Um, and yeah, I do feel that there's a lot more peace within your life at this time. Um, and you know, you really worked your way to this area. Um, so in the mid-month, you're going to feel a a lot of peace, a lot of nurturing, and a lot of a lot of love coming with the Queen of Pentacles as well. You might also feel like your loved ones are also doing the same around you. You might feel the nurturing, you know, from your loved ones. You could be dealing with a Capricorn balance, absolutely, because there is there's this beautiful balance that's going on around you um, within your life at this time. Um, getting straight into the. <clears throat> The situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Opening up. I don't feel like opening up, though. It's kind of crazy because, like, you have this piece that's very nurturing and very loving, but I just feel like if you think that people are going to actually come and try to open up a can of worms with you, you're like, not today, Satan. I'm not opening up anything. I think you just want, because you're just being simple pleasures. Um, I don't want over emotions. I don't want any, you see, because you're trying to keep yourself balanced. Within a Pisces card, opening up like that would mean that I would have to open up so much. Um, I don't feel like doing it. Just be happy and let's have contentment. Okay. I don't need to hear any over emotional this and that and try to work on my feelings or do any of those things. And I'm really right there with you because overall like contentment means we're just having a good time. I don't need, you don't need me to sit over here and be like, and I love you and trying to open you up into this emotional bliss, right? Not feeling, that's not what this card's about. This is not the queen of cups. This is the queen of pinnacles. I'm content. Let's just have fun, be nurturing and be cool. No drama. Keep that for your mama. No oversensitive. I'm not going to draw you a picture or write you a poem right now okay you can just save that for later valentine's day is over maybe i did it yesterday <laughs> you know okay so getting straight into uh, the recent past well, let's see what you did do in the recent past right hey look i already bought you chocolates on saturday what are you, what are you doing dreams coming true in the recent past love it and the near future is whoa the heck is that lead being the emperor well just staying in the same kind of entry that's very interesting um it's an interesting energy because you're going to go from can totally content and just cool kick back my friends right fun joyful all that stuff but you're going to keep the balance but you're also going to say but you know what i'm in leadership mode as well um i'm still a powerful leader and i have to still stay within my authority um so i'm not going to let anybody kick me off my throne like i said do not dethrone me at this time because if anything i'm just building and building and building for my stability um getting a you know all this is pisces is getting a bigger throne <laughs> going from running a a kingdom to a complete empire right now i own an empire so yeah that's all it is i have a small little castle now i have an empire so yeah that's it that's absolutely it so, with the dreams coming true over here, 
It's like I got the world in my hands, and that's really what it feels like. It feels like you're just building this world within your hands. You're really getting everything together the way you want it to be. Uh, this card is the same as Nine of Cups. So, you know, the Nine of Cups says what? I have the world within my, I feel the rewards. I feel like I'm exactly where I need to be. I am completely balanced in where I need to be balanced and I am just continuing to work beautifully on the things that I need and the universe is right there helping me out and allowing me to reach out and grab the universe the way it is. I'm emotionally settled. I'm not even dreaming about anything at this time right now because right now, um, two of wands upside down, right? I'm detaching from any over emotions. Now look, that that was the that's a big piece for you. And it doesn't mean that you're not sensitive and it doesn't mean that I don't care. No, what it means is I don't need anybody to put me under the water. I don't need any I don't need your crap of oversensitivity. Right? Every time I think of like oversensitivity in a lot of ways, you guys, I always remind, it always reminds me of the movie Bedazzled. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that, but it's like, I'll draw you a picture, you know, and he's like crying and it's like, nobody needs that, right? Um, I'm sorry. It just, every time I see that, it just, it's so funny. That movie's hilarious, but, um, you know, and he's over here being oversensitive and, you know, and she's just, they're kind of laughing at him and it's just like, oh, it's so sweet, but it's way too over the top, right? And that it almost feels like this person wants you to be that person in some ways, Pisces. They want you to be like, you know, that oversensitive. And you're saying, I'm not doing that right now. I just want to be balanced. I don't need all of that. God, just because I'm Pisces doesn't mean I'm that sensitive. Give me a break. They do see you like that, though, Pisces. I mean, they do. You know, because you got that creative piece. It's like. Come on, get out the guitar. I want to see you sing me a song, draw me a picture. You guys have also creative. But they're like taking it over the top. I don't know who the hell that is, right? Maybe you have some Leo or somebody who's around you. And you're saying, I'm not committed to doing these things right now. I don't want to do that. Either that or they're just trying to get you in an underwater world. And you're not feeling like dreaming the way that you're dreaming. Maybe there's no dream play. Maybe you're not ready to dream play. Because I know Pisces like to, you know, let's go on a fantasy trip and, you know, let's... Uh, Dream play, right? Cool. Fantasize. Ah, that's a good one. And that's cool. You know, um, I have a lot of Pisces family and friends and yeah, it's great. You know, we're win the lottery and do this and do that. And we all fantasize together. You're saying no fantasies. I'm getting balanced. I don't want to even care about any of that crap right now. Okay. I want to just live on planet earth for a second. No head in the sky, no oversensitivities. Yeah. And then there's the balance. But they don't really want that, right? You're saying, I'm not committed to doing all that right now. I don't want to do that. I've already got the world. I've already dreamt about what I want and my dreams are coming true. I've already done the manifestation and I got where I want to be. Opening up. You're not going to open me up that way. We already discussed that. Ten of Swords. No, you're saying, I already have the hope and I'm already where I need to be. I feel somebody wants to like fantasize with you or open up a can of worms or something and you're saying, no. Um, yeah, walking away from that because I'm already hopeful. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of that because it doesn't bring me any satisfaction. It doesn't give me any satisfying results. Maybe you just try to, you're just trying to say it's not the perfect timing to do something like that. I, I'm not in the, I'm not in the mood. I just, with the temperance upside down, I just feel like I'm not in the mood to play around right now. I just want to be normal. I just, yeah, I don't feel like playing around like that. No need to manifest at this time. I just feel like I'm holding tight to exactly where I feel like I need to be. I feel like somebody really wants to dream with you or do something with you and you're just not in the mood. You're just stabilized. You're holding tight to what you want. You have what you want. 
when you're ready to dream and play, you say, I'll let you know, but it ain't mid-month right now. Right now, I'm just working. I'm holding tight to what I have. I'm keeping myself balanced between my home life and my work life. And being balanced within my emotions and, you know, everything, just everything's balanced. I don't feel like being dreamy right now. Hey, you know what? Sometimes it's just days like that, right? You know, I'm a Taurus. I'm a daydream believer as well. So, you know, if you guys have dealt with Tauruses, you know, we're very, we will welcome your daydreams right in and add our own, right? <clears throat> But um, definitely, I, I get it. You know, there's a time for certain things, and right now in this mid-month is not the time. Um, because you're just really busy, my friends, and you're really trying to keep yourself stable and be the boss that you are and keep yourself in a boss mode. But it's also a balanced boss mode to where you don't feel like you're too bossy, but you don't feel like you're too dreamy. You don't feel like you're, I just want to be normal. So with the page of Pinnacles, this, whoever this, I'm going to say a Capricorn keeps coming back and forth. They want you to play. And you're saying, I don't want to play right now. Now is not the time to play. Right now is the time to work. Right now is the time to just be happy. And I'm being at service where I need to be at service. But I'm not going to offer you what you're looking for. I just don't want to. It's, you know, and I'm very aware of what you want from me. They want something from you, Pisces, right? And it feels like they want to play. They want to do this. They want to do that. And you're saying no. You will know if it resonates with you. It could be a person from the past. You know, and there's like, but what about the past thoughts? Maybe they like to play um, dreaming about the past, um, bringing up past things. And you're saying, no, I'm living in the present right now. I don't want to talk about the past um, with this person. I don't want to think about the past. I don't want to, you know, it doesn't mean that this person from the past you don't talk to because it feels like they're the one, whoever this person is, you've known them for a long time, but maybe they like to bring up a lot of the past. Maybe they also want to bring up a lot of the past of what if, what can, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, you know, about love. Oh, you know, Pisces, I wish we coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. And you're like, I don't care right now. I'm not living in the past. I'm living in the present and I'm not playing around. Um, and I'm not daydreaming about the future either because I have to live in the present. And that's for somebody. And that's 100. Because the reason I see it that way is because that is really what it looks like they're doing. They're aware that they they wish they would have had whatever they could have had with you. That is definitely for somebody. And they're really in the near future trying to bring that back up. The woulda, coulda, shoulda. I mean, for, you know, we should have dated. We should have done this. We should have done that. However it is. Or, I would, you know, and you're fully aware of the situation, but they are as well. They want to get the Ace of Cups with you flowing. You're still not feeling it, though. So I even feel as you're going into the end of the month, you're still going to be in the same area pretty much at least the beginning of the end of the month. I'm not going to say that the whole, you know, but you don't have much time. So I'm going to say probably the rest of the month, you're done. You're just going to stay this way. I really feel that. And by the way, happy birthday, Pisces, you guys. Great beautiful birthday, but, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know, because that's really what it looks like. It looks like, however it is, somebody's trying to pull you into this oversensitive side. You're already sensitive enough with the Queen of Pentacles, but you don't want that kind of sensitivity. You're sensitive enough to say, yeah, you know, we're going to do this and that, but I don't need that kind. Yeah, so you might end up kind of cold shouldering the situation because you feel like you're in more stable mode. You're going to kind of cut through that and ignore that situation. Um, it's going to make them feel like they're neglected because you're going to cut through that. You are going to cold shoulder that because it feels like they're trying to work on your emotions, Pisces. They're trying to bring up past stuff that you just don't want to, woulda, coulda, shoulda. And maybe you're just done with it. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe you just don't want to ever talk about it again. Maybe that's been imbalancing you for a long time. Them always bringing it up and you're like, there's nothing we can do about the situation. That's for some of you. 
Yeah, because it causes you anxieties about thinking about things like that, so you don't want to talk about it anymore. You're moving past it now. At least for the month, right? We'll see if it, you know you want to talk about that later, but for now, you're saying, no, I'm moving past that. I don't want to talk about the woulda, coulda, shouldas, or doing any of those things. I just feel like it's like, you know, you want to be my friend or however, we'll talk, you know, but as long as we're talking about the Nine of Cups, let's talk about something different. Let's not talk about the past. Let's not talk about the lost things. Let's let, you know what I mean? Let's not talk about the hidden lost things or the woulda, coulda, shouldas. Let's just talk about what's going on today and stop bringing up the past. And I'm sorry, that's really what it looks like. Either that or trying to make plans for a future that woulda, coulda, shoulda, maybe will happen. Um, and that's, take that how it resonates, but that's really what it feels like in this near future is really what it's kind of doing. Okay. And you're putting kind of an end to that because you feel very balanced where you are now. All that does is bring you back into the past or make you, you know, try to think too far in the future. And it's just not putting you in a healthy state because it's making you dwell on things that you can't fix from the past or things that you're not even positive could happen in the future. So it's, it's not even worth it. No, it feels like you're just going through this, some kind of recovery that the situation will improve in the near future. And the recovery is really much just keeping yourself balanced. So in the next few weeks, you're going to be really improved in health in that situation with trusting and your abundance is really coming up. Wow. Okay. And yeah, get more information is upside down. And that's because you're saying, I don't want to hear about that anymore. I, I'm done with it. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.